Rolling. Um, so, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I decided when I was 16 years old that I wanted to be a massage therapist because I wanted to help people feel better. I grew up actually dreaming I wanted to be a doctor, but I decided I, that was too much time and money and I could possibly do better outside of lab code. <laughs> so what is your goal <laughs> in, um, uh, your endeavor of massage therapy? So many people suffer with chronic pain needlessly, acute and chronic pain, actually. And I think it's totally unnecessary. If it were taught in schools more about posture and musculoskeletal anatomy and how to prevent um, musculoskeletal disorder, dysfunction, and therefore prevent injury, we would have a lot less pain in our lives. Is receiving a regular massage helpful in maintaining good health? Absolutely. Massage therapy affects almost, I say almost, massage therapy affects, affects all of the body systems. It actually increases um, uptake of oxygen into your blood because it increases um, the amount of blood going through your lungs. This is one reason why if you have high blood pressure, you need to let your therapist know because massage will actually increase blood pressure. As a massage therapist, what would you like to be known for? I have been known among my circle for years as the person to go to if you're hurting, if you have musculoskeletal dysfunction, um, as someone who can help you. And... I have been absolutely overwhelmed in my life by the people who are asking me for these services that I realize that I should help others learn how to do what I do because I can't do it forever. What excites you the most about massage therapy? I've always been a results-oriented person, and one of my favorite things to do growing up was vacuuming because I love to see how clean the carpet was and I love to hear the sound of the dirt going into the vacuum and seeing how much dirt was in the vacuum afterwards. With massage therapy, I get to see someone walking in like this. And I get to see them walk out like this. I get to see results and I get to be there for the, um, the results, which is fun to see. Uh, the purpose of your video series will be to help the professional massage therapist and the client navigate the world of massage? Yes, what I'd like to do is help the unassuming new client of massage therapy or even established client learn how to communicate with their therapist, which seems to be lacking in our industry. Um, so many people get a massage but are afraid to tell their therapist it's too much pressure or afraid to come back to a therapist because maybe they got hurt but they don't communicate that. Um, and it goes way beyond that, but those are just a couple of examples. And therapists, the main problem I see is they are not understanding the structure of the body when they come out of school. And it's not something they really understand is important. And I find that massage-induced injuries are quite common and could be limited or eradicated if a therapist had better knowledge of structure. So I also believe a consumer should be aware of structure to also be able to better understand if they're receiving the correct therapy. What are your credentials? Um, I have been a certified therapist in the state of Virginia for 16 years, a licensed therapist in the state of Nevada for 14 years, 15 years, 15 years, um, licensed massage therapy in the state of Mississippi for one year. <laughs> And um, I've been a member of the AMTA for 17 years, which is the American Massage Therapy Association. And they uphold a um, code of ethics for massage therapists for you to remain a member of theirs. 
and oh. Keep it. Man, you're, well, you're doing really good. I am also um, a certified in neuromuscular, which is um, structural work with the neurological components in mind, as well as a medical massage practitioner, meaning that I can treat conditions people would normally go to a doctor for, such as frozen shoulder, sciatica, um, sprains and strains and such. What has been your greatest accomplishment in massage? I think my greatest accomplishment was opening and owning my own business for several years and becoming so overwhelmed with business, so much business that I couldn't handle all of the business. And even though I closed that business, still having so many people calling me saying, when am I coming back? <laughs> because they need me. Tell us a little bit about the World Series of Poker Tour. I've been a massage therapist um, at the World Series of Poker that's held every summer at the Rio in Las Vegas for 14 years. Um, Yes, I love my structural body work and I love helping people get out of pain in my tiny little dark room with no window. But sometimes it's nice to get out of there and get into a more energetic environment. Um, and working at the World Series of Poker provides lots of energy for me and I'm a very energetic person. So it help feeds that side of me. And it's also fun to do chair massage. It's something different and it helps me mix things up a little bit, keep things in perspective, and also helps me learn new things. That's great. In closing, if you were to give some uh, parting words of wisdom to uh, potential uh, clients of massage and therapists, what would they be? If you're serious about receiving massages, and you're serious about giving massages, you will educate yourself. You don't want to waste your money on bad massages and you don't, and you want therapists, you want to make money because you're giving good massages. Either way, you need to invest in yourself and your knowledge. Great. Thanks a lot, Brittany, for coming in tonight. And uh, we really appreciate you taking your time to visit us and Fill us in on what you do as a massage therapist. Thank you. Stay tuned for more.